Making a stereo amplifier, part two. Uh, I've explained uh, that it is very necessary to um, measure the amplification factor from the transistors. Very, very important to get a good pure sine wave out of the amplifier here. And here you see the breadboard, but it's not only a breadboard, you can also use that in a definitive um, audio amplifier. Uh, wood, um, copper wiring here, and here for the negative lead, here also for the negative lead from the two amplifiers, here for the positive lead, also here the positive lead. And finally I'm going to mount the transistors here for one channel and here for the other channel. Um, they have to be in another way, okay. One channel here, one channel here, and I'm not sure whether this circuit will work. Completely unsure, but I'm going to test it and adapt it and etc. etc. When it works, I will publish it. The very important thing to tell here is that you, at first, at all um, audio amplifiers, you need a decoupling unit. There is there are quite a few videos on my channel about decoupling. When you want to know more, visit uh, my channel, uh, my, my channel trailer on Radio Fun 232. This is a decoupling unit, 100 nanofarad cap, 100 microfarad cap and resistor here. They damp out all the uh, voltages on the power supply lead. That's very important. And they prevent oscillations from your amplifier. When the signal from your amplifier gets somewhere into other locations, etc. etc. More info on my channel. So here is the cap that we're going to use and <coughs> bridge that cap with a um, non-polar cap and bridge that cap finally with a resistor from one mega ohm so that all is damped out properly on the power supply lead.